Okay guys, welcome to the next video. We'll be importing the video, or the, excuse me, the picture file of our rocket ship so we can begin tracing it. Now, in the previous video we did extend out the size of our stage so it is now 800 wide and we did that in the properties panel right here and we left the height alone. So to import our picture, we're simply going to come up here to File, Import, Import to Stage. File, Import, Import to Stage. Now again, please remember I am on my Dell computer, so my screen's going to look a lot different than yours, so I'm going to navigate differently. But you're going to need to come over here into your favorites, where my R drive should still be safe. And if your R drive didn't save, just take a peek up at the board, and that file extension is up there so you can connect to the drive. Or ask one of your neighbors, and maybe they remember how. But for me, I'm just going to come down and connect to the R drive. Go through all this fun stuff. Find my name. Computer graphics. You'll notice that there is now a flash file. Open up that. And I'm going to insert, I'm going to import this rocket image, this JPEG picture. I'm going to send that on in there. So what you should get is a picture of a rocket ship. Now going to file, import, and import to stage wouldn't work for your computer because some people did have issues with that. I'm going to show you an alternative route. If yours did work, then just kind of hold on a second, and I'm going to show someone else how to get around that problem. So if you could not get the rocket ship to work, going this way, the other way you can do it is simply by finding my folder separately. So you'd go down to your little smiley face, the finder, navigate into my flash folder, and simply like you would with... Photoshop, you just drag and drop that picture file straight into there. Now I got an error here because I'd already had the picture in there. You shouldn't get that. So that is the two different ways that you can import a picture to your stage. You can either go to File, Import, Import to Stage, or you can simply have that picture ready to go in one of your folders and drag and drop it in there. Let's get the rest of our document set up. First of all, come over here to your tools bar and get that black arrow again. Now that black arrow says it's a selection tool, but it's also your move tool. So if my picture is kind of hanging off the stage, I can get that black arrow and I can come back and I can drop it in the center of my stage where I'd like for it to be. Also notice that whenever I do grab this picture, it grabs it as an object. So you can see this blue line that's around the outside. Whenever we start to draw and we grab things with the black arrow, it's going to act a little differently. So remember, if it's just a picture, you can just grab it just like anything you would expect to grab in Photoshop. But when it comes time to draw something, you're going to have to grab it a little differently. So right now, if I come up here to my timeline, Layer 1 is actually my sketch, my rocket ship. And I know that because if I poke it in the eye, it should disappear. So let's remind ourselves that this is our sketch layer. And let's double click on layer 1 and call it sketch. Now to work in a layer, it has to be selected. It has to be this yellow color. Now we do not want to do anything to this picture. We want to protect it. We do not want to draw on it in any way. So we are going to come up back to our timeline and we're also going to lock this layer. That's going to protect it from us drawing on it as we begin to sketch our rocket ship. Because in Flash, if you draw on the wrong thing, it will be permanent and you can't get rid of it. And I like to say that Flash is kind of corrosive, like acid, and it will eat away at anything that's in the wrong spot. So to prevent acid from getting on our rocket ship and eating a hole in it, 
we are going to leave that layer locked. After that, we're going to come right below there. And we're going to set up all the different files and folders we're going to need for the rest of this project. So what I need you to do is you're going to create one, two new folders. Make sure they're folders, not layers. Folders. Call one of your layers, excuse me, one of your folders body. And then call the other one fins, like fins on a fish. The body layer, the body folder, excuse me, is going to house all the different parts of the hull of our ship. The fins folder is going to contain the different fins sticking off of our rocket ship. So those are just folders, they're not actually layers. So we're going to have to come down here and we're going to make some new layers to go in those folders. So I hit the new layer icon, and it looks like it's in that folder right now, but it's not. To put a layer in a folder, you have to drag it and drop it. And see how it's kind of tabbed over a little bit? How this little sticky note icon isn't in line with everything else? That's how I know it's inside the body folder. And even click this little arrow right here and if it hides it, yep, it's in that folder. So we're going to have four layers in our body folder. And I would like for you to call them body exhaust vent. Windows and last but not least, nose cone. So inside the body folder, we have these four layers body, exhaust vent, windows, and nose cone. We're going to come back and add some layers to the fins folder. This time I'm going to drop it in the other folder, so again it's kind of tabbed over a little bit. In the fins folder we're going to have three new layers. We're going to have top fin, side fin, and bottom fin. So if I expand all these folders out, I'm going to rearrange my timeline here so you can see all of it. I have my body folder with body, exhaust vent, windows, and nose cone. The fins with top, side, and bottom fins. All in those folders. I know they're in there because, again, if I poke those little arrows, all that stuff disappears. Also notice that sketch is not in any of these folders. And it is also at the very bottom at the very bottom because we're going to draw on top of this and we don't want it to be in the way. If it's on top, it would hide everything and we wouldn't be able to see any of our drawings. Okay. We are going to save. If you haven't saved recently, save again. And when you save, it might give you an error, so that's why we saved to the desktop last time even though I know I tell you not to save there. So if it gives you some sort of an error, be sure you're saving on the desktop not into your stuff because we've been having some issues with our drives. Alright, that's the end of this video. When you come back, we will begin drawing with the line tool.